you chop up the interview and you edit it a certain way to portray me a certain way. When I was simply talking about who might be policing these lockdowns in the future, when maybe the police will refuse to do it. I want to say a big thank you to Politics Joe's channel. Thank you very much for that. Set up. Right, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm the, uh, uh, not racist, but realist guy. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm all about unity and I can prove it. So I was talking about lockdowns of the future because the WHO pandemic treaty, the World Health Organization, are doing a pandemic treaty to take all our rights away and lock us down when they like. All right? And a 15 minute city plan, not a good thing. Okay? Right, so thank you for that. You've done me a favor and you, you've been racist and ageist against me, a bolding white guy. Yeah? And uh, it went viral. And you know what? Now people are going to learn a bit more about where we've been led. Because I'm all about unity. I can actually prove it. Thank you for that. Politics joke. Good on you, lads. A message to Politics Joe with your little interview with me, which you completely distorted, edited to make it look a certain way. I was not talking about immigration, legal immigration. I was talking about invasion, boats landing on the coast of England in very large numbers with uninvited guests. On a large scale, I'll call that an invasion because they're being housed in disused military bases and uh, hotels are full of just men, fighting age men. No women, no kids. I am myself the son of immigrants. The time of no blacks, no dogs, no Irish. So you can sell my background by that, obviously. So, uh, the conversation I had with your guy was in relation to a number of things. The WHO pandemic treaty, which very few people know about, World Health Organization treaty, which is going to be ratified in 2024 which involves an advisory body being able to call lockdowns anytime they like, under any guise they like, where treasonous politicians will give away the sovereignty of the people to this so-called advisory body. Who voted for the World Health Organization? Did you? No! Who voted for the United Nations? Did you? No! Would anyone like a free? And my point is, and they can lock down any country in any region they like. Basically, medical martial law, call a pandemic any time they like. And who will impose these restrictions if the police don't want to do it? Traitors! Traitors! For the criminals of the World Economic Forum, the West, the World Demonic Forum. I call it, I'm sorry, I'm telling the truth. You learn nothing. No, we won't. You'll go nowhere. No, we won't. You'll be happy. No, you won't. You live in smart cities, 15 minute cities. No, we won't. 15 minute cities. Come on, lads. Here's how, it, here's how it's going to play. If you let them get away with it, how it's going to play will be, it's for your convenience. 15 minutes is easy, yeah, for your convenience, help save the planet, clean air, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Step one. And step two, why do you want to leave your 15 minute city? Why do you want to leave? Okay. Step three, very, very fast, will be, you're not leaving your 15 minute city zone. You're not. You're not leaving your 15 minute city zone. And who will impose 
these restrictions if the police don't want to do it. If the police in any country refuses to go along with the <clears throat> with a declared pandemic. And anyone who's who's, who's thinking, oh, how, don't be so ridiculous, well, you're probably the people who queued up in a car park to let a complete stranger inject you with unknown substances just so you can get a bloody donut or go to watch a footy game. All right, yeah? Face reality. This is happening. So, wake up and face reality. We're in huge danger. The politicians in WEF Minster, World Economic Forum Minster, are committing treason, apart from Andrew Bridgen, and maybe some more by going along with this. So that's reality. You've distorted what I had to say. I was not talking about immigration. I was talking about what I spoke about. And it's as simple as that. So do not distort what I had to actually say. I'm talking about the politicians in Westminster and what they're doing and their plans. And people need to wake up real quick because more lockdowns are coming. Thank you very much. Stop lying about people and distorting, editing things for a certain narrative. I told the truth that day. Get up, stand up, UK. Oh, and by the way, I speak at events. And the other week, I spoke at a, a rally for the people of Gaza. I was asked to speak there, along, along with a friend of mine who was the lady who filmed the empty hospitals during lockdown. OK, so a, a friend of mine who's Palestinian, Half Palestinian asked me to speak at an event. I spoke at the event. Five hundred hotels full of insurance men who are going to police the 15 minute seizures. I'm telling you, that's the plan. We do know. And I'll come in this last thing here. English, Irish, unity in our community. English, Irish, Scots, and Welsh. Black and white unite. Yeah, it's true. Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Jew, and this army. We stand together. All in hands together. Unity in the UK. Big the chicken over and out. Well done, Matt. People are worried about about their businesses, their jobs. So what I'm going to suggest right now is what I've been doing can be replicated. If you have a truth bomber like me, if you have a reasonable geezer like a question and answer person like Ravi, and you interview the public in a town and city centres. And if the powers that shouldn't be want to send out people to stop you doing it, you feel them trying to stop you doing it. Because the Bar Bar C won't tell the truth, any of the media, K Burley won't tell the truth, but if we got there, you share, you share, you share, right? We do this, I believe it's a great idea, does that make sense? Mine, I think it's good. And what we could have is different speakers from different towns travelling around the Midlands. We'll start in the Midlands and we'll go north and south. But we start in the Midlands and I'll go to whatever town and we'll swap around so it's fresh, it's new. It's a brilliant tactic, another bullet in our gun for freedom. I think I'm making sense, am I right? Say yeah! yeah. I know I'm right, thank you very much. But I love you Birmingham people, we're not going to back down, we're going to stand up. They're coming for us again, we know they are, this is not over. Too many people think it's over, it's far from over. We are not going to stop this madness by backing down and walking away. They're not stopping, we're not stopping, I'm not stopping, none of us are stopping. Unity in all communities, English, Irish, Scotch and Welsh, black and white unite. Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Jew, Sikh, whatever you are, just being a human being actually. That's me and you. Inside, outside, lockdown, shutdown. It was a global coup on the back of rebranded flu. I'll make the ticket, thank you.